Hey everyone, G loves trains here. I'm outside of Preston, my favourite railway station, because today I'm doing something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time now, which is ride that rare bit of track between Cliverow and Hellafield. Now because of the May timetable change 2023, which is taking place actually next week, there's no longer going to be any of these Sunday services. So I am going to be riding the last Preston to Hellafield and back service before the timetable change. about half an hour before the departure of the train to Hellifield but by the time I've walked all the way down to platform 4C at Preston the train will probably be ready to leave anyway. Sorry, I've made it down here and the train is already pulled in. I think it's been pulled in a while. I was wondering whether it would be a 156, potentially even a 158, but turns out it's a 150. 150, 130. And it is the 1526 service I'm going to be catching. There's two upward services and two downward services on a Sunday. Two in the morning and two in the afternoon. I've had to come and catch the afternoon services because basically, with it being a Sunday, I couldn't get to Preston in time for the morning ones. <laughs> It was supposed to be a 156 on this run, but basically this morning, instead of the train going from Blackpool North to Hellerfield, then back to Preston, it got cancelled at Cliver Road due to a train fault, and then it ran empty to Blackburn and did a service from there, and they've put this 150 on as a replacement. But... We've just departed Preston and the calling points of the service are quite interesting. Well, I say quite. We're stopping at Lowstock Hall, Bamber Bridge, then we're skipping the next few stations from there to Blackburn, then Ramsgreave and Wiltshire, Lanco, Wally, Clivero and Hellerfield. I have expected this train to be a lot busier, especially with it going to Blackburn as well, because I know a lot of people do go to Blackburn. I've actually not been to Blackburn in a while, but um, yeah, the train is really quite quiet. Seriously, who put that sticker on there? It's gone quite chilly on here with the windows being open and we have just pulled into Blackburn and someone is shouting very loudly out on the platform and we have going to be sitting here for a few minutes and it's still really quiet on this service, hardly anyone's just gone. Ramsgreave and Wilkshire. I'm pretty sure this is where I ate my biscuits and couscous and I'm proper in the mood to try out that combo again now. Anyways, back to the train. Oh, there's well nice views down this bit, especially on the other side to where I'm sitting. So I think on the way back, I'll sit so I can look out on that side. We're at Clitheroe now, where the hero of the cliff lives. And it is very exciting that for the first and the last time, I'm going to be riding beyond this. We have got 23 minutes down this bit of track. So far out of the window, it's very tree-y. We've even got branches flying through the windows, but I am just gonna sit back and enjoy the rest of this ride as we cross from Lancashire into North Yorkshire. now at Hellerfield and I am glad that this train has brought us all the way to Hellerfield. The train is now going to be sitting here for about eight minutes then it's going to go off up to Settle Junction where it's going to reverse and come back into Hellerfield ready for its outbound journey where I'll be getting on it 
and riding back to Preston. I've got 45 minutes before the train comes back in now and it is a shame that this little cafe thing isn't open on a Sunday because I would have loved to have spent my time in there. Back on 1.50, ready for the 17.34 service. It has pulled in to Hallifield a little bit early, which I am glad about because it was getting rather cold out there. It's nice and warm on the loud 1.50. But this is the last train that is ever going to run direct between Hallifield and Cliveroe. This is the northern service to Blackpool North. The next stop is Cliveroe. The leaves aren't coming in the train this time because all the windows are shut and the sun has come out and honestly the views out of these windows are just stunning. I absolutely am loving riding down this road. So to do this journey today I did buy an offbeat day return which cost me £8.25 with a rail card to go along this direct service. Now if you were to go via an indirect, uh, indirect service on an anytime day return that would cost £34.45 so in comparison this Sunday service is very cheap. And there we go, that's that bit of track over with as we've just pulled back into Cliveroe. That went really fast on the way back actually. And it is onwards for me from here, back to my favourite station. I'm feeling very relaxed now after that ride. I'm now at Preston. We pull into platform one because the train is off up to Blackpool North, calling at Kirkham and Wesham and Poulton Lithiles. But it is time for me now to say a farewell to 150, 130. And I'm back they're about in the same spot as I started the vlog. I'm so happy that I've got to ride along that line now and it was very good timing for it as well. I mean that track is pretty much just going to become abandoned now and no other trains are ever going to run down it. And to remember my experience today, I have got my leaf. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Bye!